Everyone's gone off and Joe's gone into the lead. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Tangle has just overtaken either of them. Yolo. Somebody's standing still in the middle of the fucking corner. That's the day for them. But uh, actually, running on board with Petrohead with four, five minutes to go here, he's the brave man, the guinea pig, to go out on the option tyre. Now he, he's struggling out there as Petrohead, he's not got the grip at all at the moment. So anyone, at the moment, thinking about putting a flex on, you better abandon that right now because Petrohead is really struggling and I suspect it's a hero or zero move. He's currently eighth quickest. I think Petrohead will stay out there for the remainder of the session I think that's the only option he's got. Fuck it. And that, and Tom Smith! Look at Tom Smith! That's the man who was in pole in Spain! Well, well, well! The top two men in the Spanish Grand Prix have taken themselves prop out of qualifying here! What's going on this season in TGP2? It's so unpredictable! And uh, Bart has been in the barrier, and now he's joined by Dom and the Williams. Unbelievable! Oh, well, that slow one down at the back, that will be a really hard hit. I think it was the back, I'm not sure if it was turn one off the back, but looking on the map. But uh, we're running on board with Chris Johnson at the moment, he's currently on a flying up. He's gone up to second on a 28. Look how close he is. In fact, no, I've just missed, I've actually missed Dom Smith going quickest actually before I missed it. He's done a 23 1. Too busy watching the man uh, out there on the off. Gone quickest. The man who was quickest in Spain looking to finally convert victory from a full position here this weekend. Chris Johnson is out there, he has, he's gone for interest, so it's definitely not time yet, instead of option tires. We are now riding on board with Petrohead, it's very important we watch this. And I tell you what guys, I tell you what, people at home, getting a little bit more grip. He's not struggling so much now, but the lap time probably still isn't as quick as those on the inter. Let's do one more lap, Petrohead might find a bit of improvement here. I do it. Joe's gonna do it. I'm not riding on Bob Joe at the moment. I'm watching Chris Johnson, but Joe's up at the second. He's two tenths away from Tom Smith on pole. And I tell you what, at the same time, I've just realised that Michael and the Red Bull, the boys at the back of the field, have got nothing to lose here, and they are both going out on the option tire. What a story we can have here. We have to watch this one. There's so much going on at the end of qualifying here. Good job. A medical message and put the Mercedes on goal position. The Norway all season, but he is struggling a little bit for grip there. He needs one more lap and he would have done it. I still don't know what the lap seems like. Mr. John Dogs are out there on the lap on the option tires. Out there on the lap on option tires. Is Michael out there on the lap? Petal heads out there as well on the option tires. Pumping in a lap time. Well, we'll wait and see. This could be interesting at the end. If you're in on board with Paul, this session is over. Oh, He's down to the pit now. His best is going to be done on the grid. Martin is out there, but still trying to stack pull away. He's clipped the inside barrier and surely thrown it all away. He's currently down in fourth position and it's not looking particularly good for the Williams man. He's there with the basket, but surely in the final corner he doesn't have the speed to take Paul away. Martin for the line isn't it an improvement at least. No, he stays four. Oh my god. Fucking hell. <laughs> what can he do in the option tire? It's not going to be an improvement. It's the very slow. A 1 minute 28 for Petrohead. Chris Johnson is the next man to run the final part. In fact, Johnson's going to be in front of him. What's Johnson doing? Johnson, I don't think he's going to improve. Surely the tires aren't ready for it. And what's Chris going to do? He goes. Oh. Oh. Chris goes third on a 23-6. Oh, well, he's jumped up a few places, he'll be happy with that in the end. He was running about 5th or 6th in the field there, and he climbs his way up into third. Still a bit gutted, uh, not to be up in the front too, but it's Dom Smith who takes full position for Williams. We are moments away from the Monaco Grand Prix of 2014. Please.
just having a problem up and wanted to drop the the longest run in the Formula One calendar. We go to the shortest run until in Monaco. It's been eighty five races since Dom Smith last won a race. He had a chance to convert Paul last time out. He did but shoot this is an even better chance. We'll find out if he can. No! Right down a wheelie goes and Dom to the lead off the line. I think he does. Into the first corner. Dom does lead. The Ferrari trying to sweep around the outside. We've got a few bumps and bruises. And we've got a Mercedes facing the wrong way. As it Chris is the job, I think it might be Chris. As uh, Dom leads through the Casino Square for the first time of 20. And he'll be absolutely delighted with that start to the race. And it's Joe in second place, this time not making digging out and uh, running well at the moment. Martin running in third position, looking for a third win of the season. But at the moment it's Dom Smith, not one in 85, looking to that horrible streak now as a well. He won or what? He was six tenths quicker than anyone last time out in qualifying. He thought that would be chance, just like a snatch to be right at the end by the Red Bull driver of Barton. But surely, this is a real chance for him take victory it's a crack but it's so difficult to overtake I'll tell you what we're in for a cracking race and Joe he really is beginning to mount the pressure on Donald already as is me the commentator telling him he's not one in 85 he might be hearing me inside his, ear, his head if he can't hear me literally that's for sure and look at the train behind him he's struggling getting a rhythm here he's got his well his teammate Mark but into it as well the front three are really close to gun and I tell you what Joe might even have a run into turn one here Onto the second lap, and no, he's not going to DRS, but yeah, but Martin set one of the inside, that was risky, and they make slight contact, I think, and Joe maybe had the wall there, but Martin is through nonetheless, I'm not quite sure, we need to see that again, Martin set one of the inside, whether it was risky, whether it was aggressive, I don't know, but at the end of the day, it is a Williams 1-2 now, Martin's got one of his oh. the back, oh, he's got it! And surely there's going to be an enormous traffic jam down there now. Somehow Joe avoids it. The McLaren in place avoids it. And everyone, I think, is just about going to avoid it. Some will say that was karma for his aggressive move in the first corner. I'm not sure. But nonetheless, he's all the way down to the back of the field now, surely. And Mr. John is up into third place now. You'll be delighted with that. I have a bit of pressure now, he's right up behind the Williams, I tell you what, Rudolf Stain's the best opportunity of making a move, and he heads now down this corner, Dom needs a good exit, it's a pretty deep name, but Joe was a little bit messy there, he rode the car, flipped the wall, cuts right up behind the Williams, but no way of getting through this time, surely, and on the brakes, yeah, absolutely no way of making a move, the number of John's in front of the third place, but I'm covering, oh sorry, Dom behind him of course, not covering him at all, I thought I'm having Smith Johnson, and John of course, the traction starts to lift off the up and forth, and in fact, I nearly jinxed him there, he's cut the wall on the inside of the back there, and very nearly, had an accident there, there John, and uh, looking the tight rope here in Monaco. And look, look right in back on Bubba Joe, he's right up at the volume now, Joe, it's not the TRS open on the Ferrari, is he going to make a lunge off the inside of Thomas to turn one? No he can't, but John locks up the corner of the first corner, he can't do that too many times, but the Stewart will be on to him. <coughs> well, well. So Joe really, really does want this victory, and Dom's not one in 85, he should have mounted on the Williams driver, but it looks like his best opportunity to win, he keeps being thwarted and losing his chance, and Bart dude, the hero last time out in Spain, well, some will say he's the hero, some will say he wasn't, some will say he was the villain, causing a few incidents last time out, he has retired from this Grand Prix, and, uh, well, some will be arguing inside their helmet. They won't have to worry about him for this one, please. But uh, it was all through John's mistake, though. And uh, Martin uh, covers on the back of these guys. He always sends a podium in this one, please. And I need to get to the front of the action because Dom is at a wall! And Joe's at a wall as well! And potentially damage the left front end play on that Ferrari! Oh! And I thought he had another wall there, but that was, um, that was live. Thankfully, just for Joe. But Dom, I think, hit the wall in the exit of um, Casino Square and Joe had a run at him. The damage on the end plate are completely. Okay, just a little bit of damage in Joe's first thing. He survives unscared. Plants the wall. 
and you always want to lose time in the pouch and that is not good at all in the round money because if you lose time you lose places and you're not going to get them back. Um, yeah, Joe. Wow. Hey, look, Dom. Yep. Here's a chance at Rav Cathy. The back end's drifting out in the Williams. He really is struggling here with confidence. And Joe is nearly pushing him around the corner at the moment, even with that damage front line. Unbelievable. No way through. This is unbelievable stuff at the front. Joe applying all the pressure, tries to make a move at Mirabeau and end up damaging the front line in the barrier. And now he's pushing him around corners. He's that slow. Dom is struggling here. And again, at the top of the... It's all over the place, pumping of barriers, left, right and centre, and both drivers hitting the wall now. The pressure's getting to the boys in front, and look at this! He took the wall again! Surely Dom has got to start getting into a bit of a rhythm here. The pressure of not winning in 85 races is the third time I've mentioned it today, but I can't help mention it. I'm trying to find reasons, but I'm making so many mistakes, and that is the only one I'm coming up with. And as he goes through the tunnel, you always got a good run here. And look, he's finding the need to go defensive on the inside instead, Dom. And he cuts the corner. And Joe's through. He's up the inside. Dom cut the corner. And Joe in the Ferrari. The classic horse is through. He will gallop on now, surely. With Dom struggling so much for grip and for confidence. And Joe, remarkably, takes the lead of the Monaco Grand Prix. And it was always going to come from a mistake. But that wasn't a mistake. That was a series of mistakes. Mounting up and mounting up, and eventually Joe made a move. And on his way through, Anthony goes, clips the barrier himself. Eight laps into this race, and I tell you what, if nobody manages to destroy their vehicle, it'll be some surprise because the leaders are bouncing off barriers like they're, like they're driving Dodgers. This is unbelievable. Is there a chance for Dom then? But leapfrog his way back into the lead of this seesaw fight at the front, as we said. And Joe is looking at that. He's really attacking the swimming pool again, rubbing up against the barriers. He really needs to, if he wants to win this Grand Prix. If he, if he can just do it though, but even... Has he got a big enough gap here? These guys could be side by side on pit exit as Joe dies to the pit. The boys are from... Sixth round, they should be well thrilled. And a new front wing and away he goes. 6.3 seconds, surely Dom's going to regain the lead of this Grand Prix. And Chris Johnson's away as well from the pit lane. Pedro Edden carries on at the moment on the prime tyre. Joe rejoins in Johnson. Four. Stay by Teddy. This is the net lead. And Dom just has the pace, just has the power in the Mercedes car. The team stay up the hill. Mason wasn't there for Joe. He had to accelerate up the hill. And I'll tell you what, he's lucky to beat Martin. Very, very lucky to beat Martin. Look at that, just in front. One of the Williams drivers there, and a clear Williams and Frank Williams will actually be a bit disappointed they haven't got Martin out in front of you as well. Well, 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 this is really exciting up, isn't it? Dom now the net leader, but the front three are all on the camera shot right there. When they set a head out there on the plane tires, going along the way, starting this Grand Prix, doing the long spin first. He is doing the same, he now leads us, he does, this is both McLaren again leading it late to pit, but this time on the prime tyre and justifying it. Unlike the wear, unlike it. So Mr. John, will he dive into the pit? See his first call over his teammate, being the lead driver. Four lap for Petrohead if John does pit, which he doesn't. Characters on. Will Petrohead take advantage of that and dive to the pit? No, he doesn't. Two McLaren, they might be wanting a bit of TV time here. They continue out in the circuit, but. Uh, we're going to have some fight to leave this race, i tell you what, it's a front four now. Chris Johnson has made his way up. These front four drivers are going to have a thrilling fight to the end of this Grand Prix. I can assure you, when the front two pit, two McLaren, they're going to be in for some fight. And i tell you what, Petrohead's already trying to back them up at the moment. Into some little squabble. This is going to be a thrilling Monaco Grand Prix in the closing stages. Mr. John still holds a holder at advantage over that little group which Petrohead has now dropped back into. And look at that, that is now a train of cars behind Petrohead who's done 11 laps on those tyres and yet to pit. Teammate pits this lap, which I think he will. Petrohead is going to be holding up for another lap. This could get fighting. This could get very interesting here in Monaco. And surely Dom Smith has got to look at a potential move here. He really does, because he can take 
I want to time out if everyone else they can get a wave pack. No, oh, man, Tom is struggling as well. He's struggling just as much as Kessel has. He's the slowest out of that pack of four that are going to be taking the victory. He's struggling. And look, they're all hitting the ball as they're bouncing over them as they ride on board from the rear of Petrohead. Has John died for the pitch on this lap? He has, I think. Oh, he's carried on, really. He's on. <laughs> this is going to be brilliant. John carries on, Petrohead carries on, and surely that means if John's in this lap, Petrohead will hold him again for two laps. Man, losing what will be a net fifth place, a chance to get onto the tail. Speaking of five drivers, Fighting out for the victory from the two McLaren pit. And look, Joe, uh, look at this. Dom Smith sees a chance now! Oh! Petrohead Smith! Martin seizes the opportunity! Oh! Unbelievable! Oh, well, we said something was going to kick off. That's very unfortunate for Dom. Very unfortunate for Joe. But Martin, with the winning mentality, is looking good now. Surely go on to win this race. He has the pace, he has the confidence. His bogey circuit has rewarded him here in Monaco. He now has the net lead of the race. And just to sum up what happened, Petro has spun that metal ball just as Martin had done himself earlier in the Grand Prix. And um, as Dom and Joe get caught in the inside, Martin was able to slip around the outside on the very small clear of circuit that was there. And Martin takes the lead of the race. And I tell you what, the Williams guys are pretty pleased. They didn't have a result. It's now a Williams 1-2. And we don't care about the order of the 1-2. They care about winning the race. And now, all on the line. This reminds me of Monaco 2012, when Martin Weber decided to hold five stars up behind him. Albeit in tricky conditions. Oh, and Martin, look at that as they go up the hill. He's got Dom right up behind him. We've got Joe right up behind him. We've got Chris Johnson right up behind him. This is absolutely thrilling stuff. And Joe has taken one up the inside of Dom and made them a stick. And that is brilliant. That is brilliant. He's been moaning down the radio all the way to his team. How am I going to pass anyone here? But for the second time in this race, Dom makes a mistake. And uh, Joe is first to pounce. And the prancing off is up into second place. And can he snap? What would be a great victory for Martin? Before the end of the race, he's got tips to do it. 14 of 12. The five drivers all in the shot at the front of this Grand Prix. What a thrilling fight. We've got two Williams in here. We've got a Ferrari. We've got two Mercedes. Oh, absolutely thrilling stuff. Martin looking good at the moment. It's his third win of the season. But we've got drivers in here who have yet to win a race this year. We've got drivers in here who haven't won for 85 races for his mistake. And catch the ball to the side. Add it to the final corner. That was a bit iffy for them, but he just lost them. Joe, a bit forceful against the barrier that Anthony knows. This must be so nerve-wracking for these drivers. So much at stake in this cross race. One mistake, in the barrier, game over. And Dom is now putting the push to back on Joe. It's all about, I tell you what, none of these drivers like being hunted. They don't like being in the good position, do they? They much prefer being on the tail of the man they're attacking and make, watching them make mistakes. They just cannot cope the driver behind him. But this is all playing into the hands of Martin who is, is driving well at the moment. He's just doing all he needs to do and Joe can't get near and he can't get the tackle and he's got his eyes still and he's never still with the other Williams. So he's got his silver Williams in front and he's got his silver Williams, Williams behind. It's not going well at the moment for Joe in his attempt to win this race. Dom will be absolutely disgusted with the eight and looking good for victory. He's going all the way once again. And the pressure is keeping by his teammate after looking so quick. Punch, punch, punch. Come on, stop, sure. Cal, I'm seeing it now. Oh, oh and the front line entirely gone. On oh, Joe's car. Almost all gone. I didn't, think, I didn't uh, see it. I think they didn't see that in the camera. I think it was contact with last dash. Uh, it might have been uh, Martin spinning Joe, I'm not sure, but he damaged the front line even more. And I said something was going to happen in this race, and it has. Well, Martin, I've just seen it now in the replay. Martin bounced off the wall. 
ended your Helen Bartley, you can the drop play by Bartley in Spain at the start. And while running well here, but the back of the group of five. Yeah, it doesn't cut any quarters because then um, Gordon in front of them had a the pain penalty and maybe that's why the team boys have not given the shot and um, the Gordon is in the team because he's got a pain penalty. It makes sense that he's going to be there. I'm here for one, two here. Two here. You know, looking good. Take the maximum points from the Monaco Grand Prix. Jordan has spun the car and the new Belgian team. Jordan has spun it. Jordan has spun it and the new Belgian team. Jordan has spun it and the new Belgian team. Jordan has spun it and the new Belgian team. Jordan has spun it and the new Belgian team. Jordan has spun it and the new Belgian in the case of what might have been for him, a piece of what might have been for Dom as well. But uh, the front five have spread themselves out due to two, two mistakes, both from the Mercedes drivers and John is currently fourth with uh, Jordan right behind him in fifth. But uh, Chris Johnson will surely jump in at the finish. But rounding the final few corners now into Raskash for the final time to Anthony Nose. Martin comes up to the final corner, across the line now, he wins in the Principality, he wins the first of the Grand Slam, a fantastic drive from Martin, his third win of the season, he's only attended three races, that's all. Close finish at the end there for Dom and Joe, but Dom did make it a well, it's 1-2, it's a great win for Martin, and uh, Dom will be happy with second in the end, a fantastic race here in Monaco. We had five drivers fighting out for the win at one point, but Martin held his nerve and took a brilliant victory.